Hey, so let us create a very simple yet fun title opener. I will create a new composition, it will be of course full HD and the duration should be 5 seconds, that would be completely enough. At first I would like a line to progress here. Let me click here to open my title action save, alright, so I see everything better on the composition. I'll select my pen tool, ok I have a very ugly red fill, so I'll click on it immediately and let's go for something more pleasant, maybe an orange, maybe a yellowish goldish one. Ok, this should be fine and I can click on the stroke and select no stroke. Ok, I start by the top side, here shift click bottom side. Ok, perfect, I have a line through the middle and actually I wanted it the other way around, so let us select a stroke, I'll just select this color, a bigger stroke, alright it starts to get visible and no fill. I'll move it left so it goes through the entire screen. We have this shape layer, please open it, please select add and please add trim pad, because I would like an animation through this entire line. I'll open trim pad, I'll go to the very beginning and I'll make both values the start and end to 0%. Perfect. Keyframe, keyframe, I'll go 20 frames forward, I'll go 100% like this, then it will stay on the screen for a while like that, for example until we reach 2 seconds and then I'll go to about 50%, so it goes into the middle but I'll also raise the second value so they come together like this. Alright, so basically I would have an animation like that. Oh, and I see that I have here a keyframe, but I didn't want this keyframe here. I want to have 0% until here and also the 100% until here. Only at the very end it should come together. So we have an animation like that. Okay, maybe it's a bit too quick, but that's no problem. Please select all of those keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and ease them all in. If you want to edit the animation further, just go into the graph editor, click here select the speed graph and you can click on the values and change their velocity a little bit. I can select those values and place them like that, like this, a bit slower at the end. Ok, very nice. Maybe it's a bit too quick, so if it is, just take those keyframes, shift them out a bit and also this a bit further away so it gets together slower. Ok, we are halfway done, now I would like to mask this line in the middle so we can reveal some text here. This will be very simple, you select a rectangle, you create a rectangle like that, you make sure that it is filled, this time I want a fill and I want no stroke. With the align tab I will make sure that it's here in the middle, alright, it is now in the middle and I will simply place this shape layer above my enter line. This way if I press F4 or the middle button here I can use the track mat, the track mat and the mode. In the track mat options please select alpha inverted mat. This way we will have the middle cut out. Ok now there is only one step left, adding a text. I take both shapes and I make them orange. Alright, now the text. For example, something like beautiful title. I'll of course change it to something more impactful, maybe the unisense, it looks really great. I'll align that in the middle and I'll preview this animation. I can start to animate the position. Press P on your keyboard to open the position. It goes somewhere about here when the line starts to appear. Press on position. I would like it to be here. Ok, when the line comes in, also the text should come in. Then later on, the text will maybe disappear to the bottom. I'll select a new keyframe, I'll go a bit forward and I'll make the text disappear here. So basically this would be a ready animation, the only thing that is lacking is to duplicate the previous shape we had, Ctrl D. Place it above the beautiful title and as well here select a track mat. This time we will use the normal 
alpha matte because I want the middle to be visible and the outwards to be invisible. So when the text is above here, it should be invisible. All right, now it's a matter of right clicking on the keyframes, keyframe assistant, easing them in, going into the graph editor, making sure that the animation is really nice and then positioning those keyframes so they go along with the actual line. Now it's a matter of pressing space, previewing and knowing that everything is okay. I'll press space. Okay, too quick. Too slow. Yeah, now that looks good. Okay, perfect. If you also want, you could take this box, you could press P like position and just before this animation happens, you could keyframe it, page down, place this a bit higher and this way this title would disappear a bit nicer. Yeah, this is what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to achieve an animation like this.